Good morning, family. I pray everybody's doing well on this very blessed day as we all top. Give it the most high Yahoo, all the honor, the glory, all the praise and worship. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, all in one. My title says this spiritual discernment. This is a video response back to you, Sister Lisa, um, with your email. I want to do this video like this. Everybody don't have spiritual discernment. I call it my spiritual radar detector. And you know anything about a radar, it picks up things miles away. You can see it coming. And you have to have the Holy Spirit to have this spiritual discernment. And let me tell you something about what spiritual discernment has done for me. And of course, I'm just talking about the Holy Spirit being born again. Or some may say being born from above. When you realize who and what the Holy Spirit is, and when you come into the Holy Spirit, it's a life changing. Spiritual discernment had me go back and reflect back over everything in my life up to now. Spiritual discernment let me know what what I was doing wrong, when I was doing wrong, who I was doing it wrong with. It checked me. And by having it, it makes you aware of all of your surroundings. You can see mess coming a mile away. Your, dis your spiritual discernment will let you know this person here ain't for you. This person is for you. This person been against you. And I give you a news flash. Most of it going to be right there in your own family. We already know that. And some people think, man, are you psychic? How you know this? You s No, I'm not psychic. It's the spiritual discernment. And it is very powerful. Let me tell you something. With spiritual discernment, with prayer, with studying, with being obedient, with living that word, with keeping on the whole armor, can't have to stop you. And some people get mad at you because your spiritual discernment is so on point, they don't know what to do or how to handle it. They call you crazy. But in the long run, Holy Spirit ain't never wrong. Now, there are times where we may get off track because we may not be acting right or getting caught in our feelings, yeah. But when you stay in the Holy Spirit and put aside what you feel it's real y'all see a lot of people need the Holy Spirit a lot of people that say they have the Holy Spirit they're just religious or traditional you know how many people inside of a church building they really don't have spiritual discernment they have what you call calling their feelings. You know how I many of these so-called prophets, P-R-O-F-I-T-S, think they got discernment, but they're just going off of what they feel, what they see, and trying to get money out of your pocket. See, spiritual discernment will let you know if this past is right or if this past is wrong. You have to have that relationship with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will tell you, them ain't your friends. They just hanging around you to get what they can out of you. Spiritual, spiritual discernment will have you know that that's not the man that the Most High have for you. That's not the woman of Yah that he has for you. But if you are not in tune with the Holy Spirit, how can you use that spiritual discernment? See, even growing up, I always knew of something inside of me that, that was telling me right from wrong, but I just didn't have a clue at first on what it was that had to be brought out inside of me I would know not to don't, don't get in the car with them man don't go with her don't talk to her 
one and always come before destruction. That's why I say it's a process working inside of us. And once again, you must put away what you feel. This is why the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. This is why the Bible shows us that the, that the flesh is weak. The spirit is always willing, but the flesh is weak, very weak. And when you give in to the flesh, you're going to get fleshly results. But that spiritual discernment will show you your own mama, will show you your own daddy, will show you your own best friend, your brother and sister, all your siblings. It will tell you what's right. Now, once again, people may get mad at the outcome of what you see. And this is why the Bible also says, once again, he told us to be holy. Be ye holy, for I am holy, which means set apart, sanctified. And when you are set apart, when you sanctified, you see a whole lot in the spiritual world, world excuse me, spiritual realm. You see it. I'm talking spiritually now and physically. You're going to really see it, but that radar detective, that spiritual radar detective is going to kick in. And you're going to recognize what's what. I'm talking from experience. I ain't talking about what I heard. I'm talking about how I apply it, how I apply it in my life every day. And this is why I must not get caught in what I feel. Because I don't want to miss truly miss what the most high is showing me in the spirit realm, excuse me, with spiritual discernment. I'm going to tell you something else I did as a musician. I hope, I hope I can get about five musicians to hear this part right here. Spiritual discernment will have you go back and check every song you listen to. Songs that you are playing. Spiritual discernment, Holy Spirit will show you that song ain't fit for you to play or sing or present it. Somebody will catch that later on. You'll start going back diagnosing. Let me tell you what I've done, man. Stuff that I grew up on, I never thought it was so wicked until I got the spiritual discernment. Sounded good, but it was really devil worship. It was really bowed down to Baphomet. It had nothing to do with the Holy Spirit, but it sounded good. Just like a lot of these, what they quote-unquote call in gospel music, it just sound good. But when you realize and break it down, a lot of these songs ain't got nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. And I know I just made about 10 musicians mad with that. At least five pastors mad with that. Because now everything is all about entertainment. But your spiritual discernment will show you those pastors are entertaining. That praise team right there is just entertaining and performing. There's no true Holy Spirit. There's no true anointing. Spiritual discernment will show you that. They're just up there being emotionally fed. But spiritual discernment wants your soul fed. This is why we got all these entertaining groups out now, entertaining praise team leaders, entertaining pastors to go along with the entertaining musicians, but real, real people will understand, spiritual discernment will call your mess out, and the spiritual discernment will have you to be bold, you don't worry about nothing, you don't care, you just you bold with it, even if it means you losing some folks. Because with spiritual discernment, you rather have people mad at you than the Holy Spirit mad at you for doing what you're supposed to do, what you're supposed to do. If you don't do what you're supposed to do, you got a problem with the Holy Spirit. That's my time, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all continue to have a wonderful, blessed day. And take care. Shalom.